This video is part of a series demonstrating the integration of motion control into Tia Portal as well as the new Synamics V90 drive. In this video, we will be looking at technology objects, which can be used as an interface for motion control in Tia Portal. We will be covering the topics listed on screen. To begin creating a technology object, we go to the drop down in our controller's project tree, add new object, in this case select positioning axis and give it a name. Now that our technology object has been created, we can enter the configuration tree and begin setup. To begin we must set our basic parameters such as units and axis type. In this case we will be leaving them as default. The next stage is to identify the drive we are connecting to via the drop down menu. Doing this in our case with the new V90 and an intelligent encoder will bring through almost all the default values we need. Because we want to use isochronous mode, we will leave the telegram set to its default of 105. The Mechanics tab allows the configuration of encoder location, the gearing of the motor to the load, and the revolutions of the lead screw to the distance moved. The dynamic defaults are typical values of velocity, acceleration, deceleration and jerk for normal machine operation. The values are used by MC blocks when their input is less than zero. Dynamic limits are the maximum theoretical limits for the system. These should be judged on the physical constraints of the system and not just the motor itself. Homing is required to synchronize axes at a specific location. Active homing is performed by the MC home block and autonomously finds the position. Passive homing is a more manual operation which the user defines. Position monitoring defines a window an axis must be within to be considered done. The tolerance time is the time given to reach the position window. Minimum dwell time is the amount of time that must be spent within this window. If the criteria are not met, an alarm occurs and the axis is stopped. The following error tab allows you to adjust the deviation of the actual position from the set point that is allowed before alarming. It can be scaled dynamically with velocity, and you may need to disable it during tuning. This tab allows you to define the minimum dwell time that the axis must be within for it to be counted as at standstill. Configuration of the position control loop massively affects position accuracy, response time, and uniformity. Starting values can be entered here and adjusted in the tuning panel which will be addressed in another video. The control panel can be found under the commissioning pane of the project tree. It allows manual control of the drive through the technology object. When we activate the axis control panel we are taken online and asked to select monitoring time. We're going to say yes to the default. Now we have control of the drive. If we enable the axis and then set a velocity and select a direction, we can manually control the motor. As this is a positioning axis, there are multiple operating modes to choose from, such as positioning relative. At default we have 500mm and position relative will add 500mm to the current position and remove it if we send it backwards. To return autonomous control to the drive we disable the axis and deactivate the axis control panel. The diagnostic section of the technology object allows us to read back information from the drive about the status and error bits, motion status and profi drive telegram. If we go online to the drive, the status and error bits page becomes active. This can be extremely useful for fast diagnosis of the drive status. 
In the motion status pane, we can see the current values for target position, actual position, actual velocity, and velocity override. Finally, the Profidrive Telegram tab allows us to view the status words transferred in real time.